Okay, so you can present the, the paper title is about the distribution of traction effort between propulsion devices of walking robots. Okay. Uh, have you my picture? Yes, you are sharing now. I can. I uh, can I start? Yes, please go ahead. Stage is yours. Okay. Um, dear colleagues, I'm glad to see you. I want to present to you uh, my report um, about the distribution of tension efforts between the propulsion devices of walking robots. Um, feature of transport machines in general and mobile robots in particular is the use of uh, several propulsion devices as traction mechanism that provide movement. The coordinate operation of such mechanism is ensured by the use of various devices and control systems. An example is automobile differentials of various types which serve to regulate the flow of engine power to two or more propulsion devices for a car, um, for example, uh, uh, this is a wheels. Variants are also possible uh, when each uh, propulsion device is driven but in own engine or by several engines. The latter is typical for walking propellers which um, as mechanism have several degrees of freedom and therefore uh, whose motion is described by several generalized coordinates that change under the impact of several drives. In the cases, an important task is problem of uh, controlling each motor in order to ensure the programmed motion of robot uh, either with minimal energy consumption or with minimal efforts developed by, developed by drives or minimal displacement of the executive, executive working, uh, working body. The importance of this task is also confirmed by the fact that walking propulsion devices are characterized by a non-linear relationship uh, between the angular or linear speed of executive, of executive motor and the speed of course movement of the walking point foot of the propulsion device. Uh, a change in the position of the foot relative to the robot's body. The, pres uh, the presence of two phases of movement, the support phase and the phase transfer to a new position. So, for example, for a walking machine with the insectomorphic propulsion devices, the directional movement of the foot relative to the robot body depends on um, the operation of three drives, where L1, L2 and L3 uh, um, are the length of the links of the mechanism uh, phi 1, phi 2, and phi 3. Uh, I'm showing phi 1, phi 2, and phi 3. Um, are the angles of rotation of rotors uh, of the drive motors of the G's propulsion device. So the, uh, the presented uh, um, uh, fragments of uh, walking robots uh, have uh, uh, three um, uh, degrees of freedom. Uh, so uh, um, uh, to ensure the translation movement of the robot of a constant speed v on a horizontal surface, it should be required that in the phase of interaction with supporting surface equations uh, 1, 2, and 3 uh, will be fulfill fulfilled. So we have uh, constant uh, coordinates y and uh, 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 y and uh, z, and x uh, is um, uh, is uh, velocity. So, however, there are no strict energy assessments and assessments of the uh, efforts developed by the drives, which is explained by the lack of consideration of the forces of resistance to motion. The only known estimate uh, estimate of the power of the drives spent on ma maintaining the weight of but with a known distribution of normal loads. So with a forward uh, motion uh, at a constant speed of walking machine with uh, insectomorphic propulsion devices, uh, then instantaneous power uh, to maintain the weight um, expression for power. So um, to main the weight of the machine is determined by expression for, uh, and so whereas N is normal reaction of, uh, of the of soil. So uh, one of the promising technologies for the production and uh, exploration of new hydrocarbon uh, deposits on the continental shelf is the use of an uh, autonomous underwater robotic complex with anco cable uh, propulsion. The anco cable propulsion uh, device can be used to move an uh, autonomous underwater um, uh, or surface robotic complex due to the thrust arising from the tension of the cables going to the anchor. Uh, anchor is um, uh, is one, uh, cables is two, 
we have uh, anchors, we have cables, and uh, um, there are uh, controlled flywheels, uh, number three, and uh, it's shown uh, the anchor transfer traje trajectory. So the anchor, anchor cable propulsion device can be used uh, so the walk of such propulsor is similar to walk of a walking mover. Uh, so the difference is that the robot uh, does not learn on it, it but cleans to the supporting soul place with its help. Well, uh, for anchor propulsion devices, which are similar to walking ones, uh, are designed to move a robot pontoon with a small positive buoyancy in the bottom of a um, reservoir uh, force uh, TG. We have uh, force TG, uh, so it's generated in a rope operating in uh, traction mode, uh, which depends on the directional movement of the robot pontoon efforts in the cables of other propulsion devices, depending on the realized gate and the force of resistance to movement uh, Q. Talking it into account, uh, expression of uh, uh, expression for um, tension efforts uh, TG. Um, uh, TG also depends on the force of resistance to motion determined by the velocity of, uh, of uh, robot pontoon. When um, uh, in the general case, the tension efforts is function described by um, equation um, two. So uh, the forces TG will depend on the moments uh, developed by the corresponding drives with uh, sufficient uh, adhesion properties of walking propulsion devices with the ground. Um, in the general case, uh, the differential equation of motion of the rotor and of electric motor uh, or the crankshaft uh, on internal combustion and engine driving, the propulsion device had the uh, form of uh, equation one. So, where G is reduced moment of inertia uh, of rating parts M uh, with uh, index M and with uh, uh, index R uh, uh, are the moments uh, developed by the engine and the moment of resistance uh, due to overcoming of useful resistance forces and friction forces phi is the angle phi is the angle um, uh, of, of rotation of the rotor of the engine. So for many types of motors, for example, DC motors, asynch uh, asynchronous motors, internal combustion enge engines, hydraulic motors, uh, the developed uh, torque depends on the control action uh, uh, U, uh, uh, you and uh, and the angular speed of rotating output link and within the oper um, operating speeds can be represented as a linear function with the pa parameter U at the control parameter. Um, for in uh, in this case, so for example, uh, uh, the control param parameter U uh, is the um, DC motor control voltage. So. For DC motors uh, of independent excitation, U is a voltage supplied to the armature circuits. For an, uh, for an asynchronous motor, U is the voltage supplied to stator winding. Uh, for an internal combustion engine, U is for fuel supply. K and mu, the coefficients of mechanical characteristics of the GIS DC motor. So the moment of resistor M with index R uh, reduced to the motor shaft uh, for traditional types of uh, propulsion devices depends on the physical processes of its interaction with the supporting surface. Uh, for walking or walking-like type, um, for example, anchor, um, anchor cable, it depends on a variable uh, gear ratio uh, and it's determined by the um, uh, tractive effort developed by this mo uh, mover to overcome uh, the resistant movement. In the absence of, uh, of slipping of uh, the propulsion device foot on the support surface, there is a relation between the movement of mobile um, robot body X and uh, the rotation angle phi of the rotor setting, the, um, you know, so setting in motion the G's propulsion device equation three. So uh, that's the equation uh, for the propulsion device power drive is conveniently reduced from uh, for the form presented by equa uh, um, equation four. So um, if all drives are the same, it's uh, power parameters are the same too. Uh, however, angles uh, change. Uh, however, angles change functions phi differ due to dependence on the established or self-aligning gate. Therefore, to establish um, the programmed motion, it's uh, required to apply control actions U to the drive motors, depending on the required uh, required um, attractive efforts uh, developed by the corresponding propulsion device. Um, it is uh, from the moment uh, of resistance 
M with index R are applied to the shaft of the GS uh, propulsion device. The problem is posed uh, of the distribution of control actions uh, U. Uh, so uh, during, the during the translational motion of uh, mobile robot uh, at a constant speed, providing a minimum of uh, criterion I. Uh, so presented by equation where M is uh, the number of propulsion devices. Tau is a period of one cycle, which is the same for all propulsion devices, including the phase of, in of its interaction with the reference surface and the transfer, transfer phase. Uh, the physical meaning of cri criterion one, uh, if, for example, for DC motors, uh, which um, uh, we use here, um, corresponds to the level of heat loses in uh, motor. So uh, the solution of this problem is based on joint solution of uh, differential equations of the translation motion of, of a mobile robot of mass M along the OX axis um, equation one. The equations um, of the two rotary motion of rotors uh, of the motors of all drives and uh, introduced uh, relations chi uh, chi, so chi, chi with index uh, with I, uh, index G, so uh, between the driving forces FG, FG applied to the fit of the propulsion device. The forces are the source of moment of resistance acting on the power drive of the G's propulsion device, equation two. So uh, we have um, expression for uh, forces. We have uh, uh, general equation, and so we can uh, we can uh, uh, we can keep. Um, an expression for moment uh, with uh, coefficient uh, chi. So uh, these forces are the source of the moment of resistance acting on the power drive uh, of the GIS propulsion device, equation two and equation three. So the introduced ratios uh, characterize the distribution of uh, forces between the propulsion devices um, uh, in the supporting phase can depend on the X coordinate and the speed of the center of the robot mass and are to be determined from the minimum of criterion uh, I, which, uh, will, which uh, was uh, um, uh, presented uh, on the past uh, slide. So for equation two, it follows equation three. And uh, uh, the, from equation two, it follows equation three, where lambda are the uh, function uh, dependent on the ki kinematic scheme of the propulsion unit and uh, gate. Taking into, into can account- I, can, uh, I ask you, can I ask you to move to the conclusion, please? Yes, so okay. uh, we have um, some kinematic, uh, some computational scheme. Uh, we have, um, and we have mass medallion. Um, uh, we have mass medallion with uh, four um, um, symmetrical uh, geometric uh, parameters of kinematic scheme and asymmetrical. So uh, when we have a symmetrical kinematic scheme, it's, uh, it's true that uh, forces will be uh, similar. So for the um, case of when uh, we have asymmetrical geometric parameters. Um, uh, the distribution uh, of forces between uh, DC motors, we have two DC motors, uh, so presented on the graphs. Uh, it's um, this uh, graphs illustrates um, this graph uh, illust illustrates uh, the distribution uh, of coefficients uh, chi, and this uh, graph uh, illustrates. Uh, the distribution of a control parameter U. Uh, in uh, our case, uh, this is voltage, uh, voltage of the of DC. So we have a model stand. Uh, when uh, we have a load, flywheels, electric drives. So there are two electric drives for strain gauges in cables and the control board. So um, uh, we have a mass mass model of dynamic system uh, is um, uh, is obtained. The stability per parameters are estimated. A model stand has been developed. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, is there any question from the audience? Yes. Can I have a question? Yes. Please go ahead. Thank you very much uh, for the interesting talk. I'm just wondering how. Uh, can the robot uh, change the direction of motion? Obviously, in the illustration, the anchor is position controllable longitudinally, right? So, uh, can you any can you have uh, any consideration to how the robot can steer the direction? Uh, can you uh, repeat your question once more, please? 
Yes, uh, I'm just wondering how the robot can uh, change the direction of motion. Uh -huh. um, so we have uh, this schematic scheme and uh, um, let's I show on this uh, slide, uh, perhaps. Yes, let's uh, on this slide. Uh, uh, we have, uh, there are two uh, flywheels uh, in one propulsion device. So we have, um, uh, we have uh, rotation of uh, flywheels uh, by uh, the first flywheel, next uh, the second flywheel, and uh, so we change the trajectory of anchor. Mm -hmm. So we um, put up and put down this anchor. Okay, so uh, the robot can uh, go forward, right? Yes, yes, yes. But yes. I'm just wondering how uh, the robot can steer the direction. Uh -huh. Uh, by changing efforts um, on the uh, left board uh, with the flywheels or by changing efforts on the right uh, board uh -huh. of, uh, of robot, we have uh, st straight uh, our robot pantoon left or right. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Vitality, for your presentation. And thank um, you. Okay.